Hi. Having talked about basic data types in lesson two, let's move on to a more advanced data type that I often use. There are many more, but this would suffice for a head start into more advanced data type usage. Just like learning how to fart is the head start of learning how to poop. Right. Wait. Oh, okay, whatever. Technically, the list data type is not really a data type. It actually is just a container for the more basic variable types that we have mentioned in the previous lesson. It also has the ability to contain itself to form dimensional arrays. Correct. Don't worry. We'll visualize it for you. You will understand it very easily. Python data type list. This is the syntax to create a blank list in Python. This is the syntax to create a list with values in it. Before we get to the fun part where you get to see visually how list works, you will have to do the following boring stuff first so that you may follow along. First, open Notepad, type in this line of code, and save it in your Python root folder as list.py. In my case, it is this. Yours will probably be of a higher version number. Just save it in your respective folder. Do not close the Notepad application until this video is done. Second, open the command prompt. Now type in this command to go to your respective Python root folder. Understand that the path name will be different for yours naturally. Execute the script by typing this. From now on, every time I call you to execute the script, type in this line again. Do not close the notepad application and the command prompt until this video is done. This is the end of the boring stuff. Back to visuals. Let's see what Python is doing behind the scene when you create a list variable. Type in this line of code to create one. Followed by this line of code to print out the list. Execute the script. See, if Python is your first real programming language, you might not be able to fully appreciate what you're seeing here. This container has the ability to contain different data types in a sequence within itself. The keyword here is different data types within itself. That's freaking awesome. All right, let's explore the power of the list. Type in this line of code and print out your list. Do you see what Python is doing? Now type in this line of code and print out your list. Append adds an item to the end of the list and pop removes an item from the list. To add to the front of the list, do this. To remove from the front, do this. As you can see, lists in Python are indexed from 0 onwards. This is why when you type this, you get this. To insert somewhere inside the list, you do this. To remove from within the list, you do this. To remove by value instead of by index, do this. This is the code to look through a list. Hmm. This is such an elegant way to execute a loop through an array type object. <laughs> You really have to experience other programming languages in order to appreciate how elegant Python is as a programming language. It's not perfect though. I'm not comfortable with the way Python do sub-splicing within a list or string, but that's maybe because I have been damaged in some way by other programming languages. If only there is a way to uh, Perch my mind of some of the useless programming languages that I've learned over the years. I think I've like 11 programming languages in my mind, and they're not 
all created equal. Some I'd rather unlearn if it's at all possible. Don't get me started. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to finish this video in time as it is. This leads me to believe that the next video will be a huge rush. So, I believe it will be safer for me to say, see you next, next week. Bye.